The European Union on Monday imposed sanctions on Iran's deputy defense minister, senior members of its paramilitary Revolutionary Guard and three airlines over allegations that they supplied drones, missiles and other equipment to Russia for use in its war against Ukraine. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen confirmed the new measures during an appearance in Berlin, alongside German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these sanctions against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences, von der Leyen said. Iranian Deputy Defense Minister Syed Hamza Galandari is one of seven senior officials now banned from traveling in Europe and whose assets in the bloc were frozen. The EU said he is involved in the development of Iran's and missile program, given his high-level defense role. Iran Air, Mahan Air and Saha Airlines had their assets frozen. The EU said their planes were used repeatedly to transfer Iranian-made unmanned aerial vehicles and related technologies to Russia, which have been used in Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. EU foreign ministers endorsed the sanctions at a meeting in Luxembourg. In March, the bloc had warned that, were Iran to transfer ballistic missiles and related technology to Russia for use against Ukraine, the EU would be prepared to respond swiftly including with new and significant restrictive measures. EU member countries, with the exception of Hungary, have been supplying weapons and ammunition as well as economic and other support to Ukraine worth some 118 billion euros since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. Yes, uh, actually, um, I can inform you that today the Council took a decision on sanctions on Iran. Um, the reason is uh, that Iran is supporting Russia's drone and missile terror against innocent civilians in Ukraine. The daily killing and the death of innocent people that we see would not be possible without the supplies and the supply lines by Iran. And therefore, these san sanctions uh, against Iran are sending a very clear message. Contributions to terror and Russia's illegal war of aggression have serious consequences. President Joe Biden is in Florida to survey the devastation inflicted on the state's Gulf Coast by Hurricane Milton. The president's visit Sunday comes as he urges Congress to approve additional emergency disaster money after back-to-back -back hurricanes lashed the southeast. Many Floridians spent much of Saturday either waiting hours in line for gas, trying to get home or beginning the arduous work of cleaning up after Hurricane Milton. Governor Ron DeSantis said several fuel depots where residents could get 10 gallons of gas for free were set to open. Officials were also using state fuel stockpiles to replenish area gas stations. Moody's Analytics estimates economic costs from the storm will range from $50 billion to $85 billion.